each of those being baptized today. Celebrate and believe the reality that the Lord Jesus Christ ascended to the right hand of the Father where he sat down because all the work that was needed for redemption had been completed. They believe that he ministers on behalf of the saints this day, and they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he is returning again and making all things right and good. Brothers and sisters, you have read collectively Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. You're seeing two brothers and a sister this morning that are presenting their bodies. And I pray that it reminds each of us to present our bodies. The way Romans 12, 1 reads is purposeful and beautiful. You, church, collectively, you present your bodies, plural, as one living sacrifice. That's who we've been made to be. And that's what the ordinance of baptism, in part, gets to show. It's a matter of obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ and his command and identification that these three, along with all of us who are embracing Jesus as Savior and Lord, no reservations. We belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, top to bottom, inside out. So, rejoice with me as I welcome Tim Carlson as our first baptismal candidate into the baptismal waters. Tim, I'd like for you to share a bit of your faith, coming to faith in Jesus Christ. I grew up in a Christian home, so over the years I was given lots of teaching about who God is, what his character is, what it meant to be a Christian. But uh, I was a born skeptic. I had doubts, I had misgivings, questions that I couldn't answer. Uh, so I spent years on the fence, not committing to God, not committing to the world, just sitting in between the two. Um, and I spent a lot of time telling myself that uh, one day, one day, I'd know enough to make a decision, uh, just not today. Um, throughout all that time when I was kind of wavering between, um, God never stopped seeking me even if I wasn't seeking Him. Um, he would speak to me through people in my life, um, pulling me in a direction that He wanted me to go, pulling me away from things that He didn't want me to be a part of, um, always dropping words here or there just bring my attention back to him in some small way. Um, and eventually, I, I hit this low point uh, where I just was dealing with feelings of emptiness, and I just couldn't ignore it anymore. Uh, I started speaking with you. I started reading the Bible, praying, thinking, and just searching. Um, and eventually, God helped me reached the point where I realized uh, it wasn't about knowing or learning more. I knew everything that I needed to know to make a decision. I was at the point where I had to make a, make a call. I had to make a choice. Um, so one Wednesday night after um, after a Wednesday night Bible study, I, I just was sitting in my apartment and I prayed and just said, um, Jesus, I want to embrace you as my Lord. Savior. Um, still don't know everything about God. Uh, I still don't know everything about myself. It shows me more every single day, but what I do know is enough. Amen. Amen. You think you don't know much? We we let Arlen in. <laughs> And they let me be their pastor, so. <laughs> Honestly, brothers and sisters, I had the joy of meeting with Tim on a weekly basis for an extended period of time. And I still remember him looking at me saying, you ask a lot of questions, don't you? <laughs> Because it did become evident. You, you've hit this moral barrier. Will I embrace 
Jesus or not. All praise be to God. He grabbed a hold of this young man's heart and mind and changed him from top to bottom. Praise the Lord Jesus. Well, Tim, I, in front of this, your brothers and sisters in Christ, your church family, I want to ask you again, is it your intention to live for the Lord Jesus Christ all of your days? And do you renounce Satan and all of his works? Amen. Church, would you stand with me, please? <clears throat> As God gives you opportunity, church family, will you seek to love this young man? And will you seek to encourage him in his growth and walk with the Lord Jesus Christ? Will you? Yes. Yes. Amen. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we love you. And we thank you for the work that you've done in Tim's life. We praise you for salvation in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for his desire to follow in obedience and identification with the name above all names, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, protect him from the evil one. Encourage him in his walk and his growth with us as a church family. May you be blessed and honored by what you do through the life of this young man who has surrendered himself to you. Amen. We thank you in Jesus' name. In the blind profession of faith in Jesus Christ, as Savior and Lord, and I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all that it means to us down through the years. Thank you for this opportunity of being together. And now we come to this meal. Thank you for it. We ask your blessing, strength for our bodies, your guidance through the rest of this day and whatever comes our way. We pray in Christ's name, amen. amen.